games. Let's go over these quickly here and we'll get out of here for today. Bears at Bucks, and once again, a blowout win for this Bucks team. And I think we've got to kind of move this Bucks team up a little bit in our power rankings because this Bucks offense, folks, is just absolutely stunning. These are their drives, folks. Let's just read their drives for the entire game. First drive, touchdown drive. Second drive, they punt. Third drive, touchdown. Fourth drive, touchdown. Fourth. What do we next drive? We'll just say next drive. I, I forget the counting, folks. Whatever. Next drive, punt. Next drive, miss field goal. Next drive, touchdown. Next drive, touchdown. And now we're at halftime. Finally, we're at halftime, and they've got 35 points. And then in the second half, they don't really need to do anything. They put up one field goal. They fumbled the ball. Who fumbled here? Who fumbled here? Inexcusable. Uh, what do we got? Ronald Jones. Oh, come on, Ronald Jones. That's why you lost your starting spot. I know the game wasn't close, but we still can't be turning over the ball. Also, they benched Tom Brady because um, when do they bench Tom Brady officially? He's still playing the first drive out of halftime. He's still playing on the fumble drive. He's still playing on the field goal drive. And then the final eight minutes of the game, they pull Tom Brady. Alrighty, so let's start here with the box. Tom Brady goes 20 of 36 for 211 yards. Uh, completion percentage is not good, only 55%, but taking advantage of the turnover is always great there. Tom Brady usually always does that and, you know, getting it done. So taking advantage of what the defense gives you, I guess, truly. Uh, so 20 of 36, 55% completion percentage, 211 yards, four touchdowns, no picks. Um, Leonard Fournette, 15 carries for 81 yards and a touchdown. Ronald Jones, 10 carries for 63 yards. He did fumble, unfortunately. Um, and then who was Tom Brady throwing to? We had Chris Godwin, eight catches for 111 yards and a touchdown. Mike Evans, six catches, 76 yards, three touchdowns for Mike Evans. Jeez Louise. This is why, folks. It's just Brady now has receivers on receivers on receivers, folks. Didn't even need Antonio Brown this game. Didn't even need O.J. Howard. Didn't even need Cameron Bray. Didn't even need Rob Gronkowski. Two receivers, Chris Godwin and Mike Evans, had Every yard besides maybe 30, <laughs> besides 30, I mean, it's truly, oh, man, how, how can you cover all these great receivers? So, once again, this Bucks team, great, 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 forcing all the turnovers because Justin Fields had a really bad game. He had five turnovers himself, three interceptions, two fumbles. So, uh, yeah, Justin Fields, real bad game. Maybe try to do a little bit too much. I mean, but you get down from the get-go. I mean, you're down 7 nothing on the first two drives, and then the turnovers start to come because you know the pressure's on. You're on the road having to face this elite juggernaut in the offense. So Justin Fields goes 22 of 32. 68% completion percentage for only 184 yards and 22 completions. So dinking and dunking, no touchdown, three picks, absolutely awful. Uh, running back uh, Khalil Herbert was get, trying to get it done. 18 carries for 100 yards. Justin Fields took off eight times for 30 yards. Justin Fields, who was he throwing the ball to? Cole Komet, the tight end, leading receiver. That should tell you something. Five receptions for 43 yards. Darnell Mooney, two catches for 39 yards. Khalil Herbert, running back, once again, should tell you something. Five catches for 33 yards. Jesse, jo Jesse James, three catches for 20 yards. And Allen Robinson only getting two catches for 16 yards. Can we get Allen Robinson, please, more involved in this offense? What are we doing out here? Uh, he was making Mitch Trubisky work, folks. Get this man the main focal point of the Bears offense come on Matt Nagy what are we doing and then Justin Fields with the three fumbles lost two of them so here are the turnovers first turnover came when they were down seven nothing in the first quarter Tom Brady takes advantage and scores a, t uh, a touchdown so seven points off of turnover right there Turnover number two, they fumble the ball. Another touchdown, 14 points off of turnovers. Another fumble resulted into a missed field goal, so three points potentially there. Um, an interception in the third quarter leads to another fumble. Another interception leads to a field goal. That's uh, 17 points, so only 17 points off of turnovers. It's not the worst. I mean, off of five turnovers, that's not bad, but still not being able to put up your points yourself, You know, squandering five drives. That's that. So, bad day here by this Bears offense here. But, uh, you know, we thought they were – we, we, we took uh, the Bears plus 13 in our bonus pick here. But, obviously, not even close. And they flounder big time here. So, this Bucks team is legit like we've known.